Um, yeah, I'm here today with uh, Youth Fight for Jobs and the Socialist Party. Uh, we're protesting outside the Tory conference, which is starting this weekend. Um, it's a fantastic demonstration. Loads and loads of trade unions, trade unionists supporting it nationally. You and all your cronies vanish from the land. We'll have the workers run the show now, wouldn't that be grand? In this great city, 150 years ago, Frederick Engels said that no power on earth can halt a united British working class. They're the only kind of cunts I want to see from you. Oh, Mr Cameron, please don't think me mean. We, we're here today to represent the Remploy factories, which they are trying to close. Now, everybody in the factory, as you, as you know, are disabled. And if they close these factories down, where are we going to get another job? just about public sector workers, these cuts will impact on the private sector as well as the public sector. We've got our shop stewards and representatives of VAE Systems who this week found out that their communities are going to be devastated here in Lancashire and in Yorkshire and we've got to make certain that we give them support as well as a result of these government cuts. Started the petition, persuading this government to think again and not to shut our factories, to carry on supporting disabled people in work. Well, we need a new government that is going to create jobs for young people that have a real future, and that's why I'm supporting. That's why I'm demonstrating today, and so I'm supporting the Youth March for Jobs from Jarrow to London. Uh, that's taking place this month as well. It was our parents and our grandparents who 65 years ago, having defeated the evil of fascism in Europe, returned home, determined to build a land fit for heroes. They built the welfare state. They created the National Health Service. They gave us universal education. And we're not going to allow a bunch of Bollington millionaires to take that heritage away from us. <laughs> Sister and brothers and comrades, the media would have you believe that there's nothing you can do. Oh yeah, you can march around London and Manchester, you can have one day strikes, but it won't make any difference. There are those in our own ranks who believe that. Well, I reject that form of defeatism. Our history tells us, indeed the history of the world tells us, that when working people come together, anything is possible, anything. Look at what happened to Thatcher at the height of her power brought down on the poll tax by people power.